Good evening, good evening, good evening. Let all the people of God say amen, amen, and amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Enter to the gate with thanksgiving, with gladness, with a song on your lips and a praise in your heart. Amen. Amen. Brenda's on with us this evening. Brenda, how you doing this evening? God bless you, niece, in, in Chicago. Amen. Amen. How many of you know that God is good all the time and all the time God is good? He looked beyond all our faults and find our need and just keep on blessing us, not just one time, but over and over and over again. He keeps on blessing us. Evangelist on Wolf this evening. Mother Adam May Jenkins, God bless you, Mother Jenkins. Amen. Glad to climb back home. Amen. Christy Wolf us. Amen. This evening. Amen. God is a good God. He's such a merciful God. Brother George, he looked beyond all our faults. And he find our need. Amen. Kiana Hubbard, <coughs> Granddaughter Wilford, Chief Dishman and Clara, good evening to you. Good evening to you all. Amen. Karen, God bless you. Amen. To all our friends, to all our family, we said to God be the glory. He did it once, he did it twice, and he do it over and over again. Amen. Amen. All right, we won't hold you too long this evening. We'll get right into it. Let's see what music evangelist has blessed us with this evening. God did it. Amen. God did it. And Evelyn Turin time. I think that's how you pronounce it. God did it. Get some, pump up the volume there. Give me a sound check, Brenda. <clears throat> God did it. How many know everything that happened to you? God did it or allowed it to be done. That was good. God did it. Yes, he did. God did it. All right. Thanks, Brenda. Pick me up. Turn me around. Place my feet on a solid ground. God did it. If it happened to you, Chief, God did it, Claire. If it happened to you, Mother Jenkins, God did it. Oh, yes, he did. God did it. What good has happened to you? God did it. God orchestrated it. Yeah, without in the world. Too mean to live and not and too crazy to die. So everything that good happened to you, God did. God did it. Not just one time, but over and over again. He kept on blessing you. He keeps on blessing me. God did it. Yes, he did. Christine Conway, God bless you. Everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. Been sick. Oh, yeah. Heal my body. Kenya, God bless you, cousin, over in Senatobia Way. I know he did. Mother Cat Hayes Smith, how you doing? God did it. Yes, he did it. Pick me up. What did he do with your feet? All our friends and all our family, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. Okay, prayer request. Any prayer request? Go ahead and jot those in the comment box. Go ahead, drop the prayer request in the comment box. <coughs> Excuse me. God did it. 
who did it? God did it. Jemaya, God bless you. Down Lulu way. Jay's mama, amen. God did it. All right, prayer request. Bring them on, bring them on. God did it. God did it. <laughs> praying for Mother Jenkins, praying for her family, her friends, and her neighbors. Amen. God did it. Good evening, Jemiah. God bless you. Oh, yeah. God did. Nobody could do it, but God did it. All our friends and all our family say amen. God bless you. Don't forget to share, share, share. Share this message with your friends. Share with your family. Share it with your network. God did it. But won't he do it? He did it. Oh, yeah. All right. Bring no prayer request, Will. Back up and do it again. Jesus, make you want to shout a holy day. Jesus, hallelujah. Shout thank you, Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. Mother Cat want me to sing this evening. Everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. Amen. All right, let's back this up. Go over our prayer list. All right, let's go over our prayer list and we'll do our evening prayer. Me around. All right, the Kennard family got your mother cat. All right, add the Kennard family to the list. Praying for all our pastors, our teachers, our preachers, evangelists, missionaries. Amen. All right. Uh, Pastor Fuller Law, praying for Pastor Fuller Law, Reverend Kenneth Watson, Pastor Joe Anderson, Reverend Green Oliver, Pastor Joe Canada, Deacon uh, 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 Adam Bond, Deacon Bob Bond, these mothers, Lori Hubbard, Geraldine Taylor, Mother Cat Smith, Mother Claire Ditchman, Mother Dar Laura, Mother Ida Keys, Mother El Elta Jones, Denise Wooden, Norma Westbrook. Isaiah Calhoun, Stephanie Calhoun, Ernestine Webb, Mary Dawn, Barbara Dye, Brother Clyde Jenkins, back home, Terry Fitz, uh, Smith, Weston Blue, Major Conway, Evangelist Carrie Pratt, Napoleon Simpson, Paul Miller, and the people of Ukraine praying for our children. Amen. And they only got a, another, a, a, a few more days in school. Amen. Uh, dig and bond, God bless you. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, for life, for health, and strength, we thank and praise you, looking unto you always, Jesus, the author the fit, and the finisher of our faith. We come this evening with head bowed down, but heart lifted up to the on high and said, My Lord, my God, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy on our soul. We got so much to be thankful for. And we realize this evening, Master, that we just don't thank you enough. So this evening, Master, before we ask you for anything, we pause and thank you for everything. Lord, you look beyond all our faults. And you found our need and you met that need. And now we realize that everything that was good that happened to us, that you did it. Yes, you picked us up out of the muck and the marrow clay. You placed our feet on solid rock gave us a sure foundation. Lord, you've done so much for us. You saved our soul when you sent your son to go to the cross that in our place, Lord God, that we might live. Yes, he died so that we can live. Now, Lord, bless all those, Lord God, on the broadcast this evening, on the sound hour week, boy. 
Bless them in the blessing that see you see they stand in need of. Lord, have mercy on our soul. Lord, we need things we won't ask for. Then again, we ask for things that we don't need, but we thank you for your Holy Spirit that's able to take all our moaning, take all our groaning, and present them to the Father. Now, Lord, send the word from on high for these to our children that will lift them, whatever sagging, that will strengthen them. Now, bless us and keep us, Lord God. We pray for all those under the doctor's care, Lord God. Those that are shut out and shut in. Pray for our children. Pray for their safety, their salvation, and their education. Bless them and keep us. In Jesus' precious, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Man. Amen. God bless you. God did everything that was good that happened to me. God did it. Yes, yes. Got you that house. Got you that car. Got you that job. Save your soul. Heal your body. God did it. Sister couldn't do it. Nobody could do it. But God did it. Amen. All right. Thank you. Okay. Evelyn Turrentine, everything that was good, God did it. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Okay. All right. Let's continue our series on the women of the Bible. Amen. And now we're going to look at Goma. Goma, the wife of Hosea. Amen. And look at the read the book of Hosea for the story of Goma. Amen. All right. Hosea chapter one and the whole whole book. But we're going to read out of chapter one and chapter three. Hosea one started at verse two. The beginning of the word of the Lord by Hosea. And the Lord said unto Hosea, go take unto thee a wife of whoredom. And children of whoredom, for the land had committed great whoredom, departed from the Lord. So he went and took Goma, the daughter of Dablam, which conceived, and bare him a son. And the Lord said unto him, Call his name Jezreel, for yet a little while, and I will avenge the blood of Jezreel upon the house of Jehu, and will cause to seize the kingdom of the house of Israel. It came to pass at that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. And she conceived again and bare a daughter. And the Lord said unto him, Call her Loromaha, for I will no longer have mercy upon the house of Israel. But I will utterly take them away. But I, have, I will have mercy on the house of Judah and will save them by the Lord, said to God. I will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horses, nor by horsemen. Now when she had weaned, Lord Romaha, she conceived and bare a son. And God said, call his name lo for you are not my people, and I will not be your God. Hosea chapter 3. Then said the Lord of God unto me, go yet, love a woman beloved of her friend, Yet an adulteress, according to the love of the Lord toward the children of Israel, who look to other God and love flagons of wine. So I brought her to me for fifteen pieces of silver, and for a homer of barley, and a half homer of barley. And said unto her, Thou shalt abide for me many days. Thou shalt not play the harlot, and thou shalt not be for another man, so will I also be for thee. Amen. Kamisha, Michelle, God bless you. Amen. My, my, my. Pastor Lanier, God bless you. We talking about Goma, the wife of Hosea, and his role that he had to hold. And God told him, go take on thee the wife of Horam. Amen. Just for a, a, a while, the time that I was this evening, want to preach from this topic, the prophet and the prostitute. The prophet and the prostitute, the book of Hosea. Now, to understand 
the book of Hosea, God bless you, Pastor Lanier, we got to understand the background of which it was written. This book was written by the prophet Hosea, and it bears his name. Hosea means salvation. It's the same name as Joshua and also Jesus. This book, Hosea, literally a message of salvation to a spiritually bankrupt people. And that would be the people of America today. During the days of Hosea ministry, Israel was a very prosperous nation materially. They had enjoyed a, a peace politically and military, but morally they were bankrupt, morally bankrupt. They are said to look to other God, bear their clay, God bless you, and they love flagons of wine, gallons and goo of the wine. Israel was guilty of great spiritual evening and going a whoring out the other God. My, my, my. Now, uh, 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 even though they didn't uh, pay the prophet any attention, they observed him because they knew that God oftentimes used the personal lives of the prophet to illustrate his relationship with Israel. And this was the case in the book of Hosea. God used the personal life of Hosea, his wife, and his children to illustrate his relationship with Israel. My, my, my. Woo! What does your life illustrate to God? Okay. In Hosea's relationship with Gomer, we're allowed to see a great portrait of the redemption we have in Christ Jesus. Now let's look at some of the things that Hosea endured. First, we have the pursuit. The pursuit. When God told him to go, all right, to go get a wife out of whoredom. All right. So to understand that, we're going to uh, uh, illustrate, to use these three points here, Mother Cat. The pursuit, the purchase, and the purpose. The pursuit the purchase, and the purpose. <clears throat> the pursuit. And that starts out when, verse 1, when God told Hosea, all right, to go marry a wife that's a whore, that's a prostitute, out of whoredom. <clears throat> all right, first we're going to look at, under the pursuit, let's look at the lifestyle. Look at Goma lifestyle. Katrina, God bless you. All right. Gomer's life. When Gomer first appeared in Jose, Hosea 1 and 2, she was called a wife of Horam. The phrase means that she was an Israelite. It means that she was a product of her society, Jada, meaning that she had been raised in idolatry and rebellion. Well, at first, Hosea marriage to Gomer must have been happy time for both of them. God blessed their union by giving their son named Jeffrey, and then that's verse number four. But keep on reading. We find in by verse chapter two, verse five, the mother had played the harlot. My, 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 the prostitute. Yeah. She had conceived and and and, and had done shame and, and said, I will go after men and lovers that give me my bread. My water, my wool, and my flax, mine all and my drink. In other words, Goma had played the role of the prostitute. So we have the prostitute and her husband, the prophet. My, my, my. Whew. Difficult situation that we have here. The prophet and the prostitute. She continued in a daughter in a daughter while she was with Hosea. Then she left him all together, left him a children for another man. Now, by the time we get to chapter 3, it appeared that her lover had grown tired, her new lover had grown tired of her, and it put her up for sale. My, my, my. In the slave market. We find that in Hosea 3 and 2. Now, this is just a glimpse and the homo lifestyle is a clear picture of what sin produced and will do for our life. 
of lifestyle, an unrepentant lifestyle of sin may bring pleasure for just a little while, but eventually it leads to ruin, devastation, destruction, and death. Paul witnessed for Romans 6 and 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. So that was her lifestyle, born into sin, a daughter's nation, all right? But she got carried away by her lust. And we find that in verse 6 through 9, after she had conceived, Goma was guilty of committing adultery. Not done in Goma, just like the uh, Marine Corps, uh, uh, Goma Powell. All right. Uh, 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 the child born in verse 6 was named Lo Rama, which means no mercy. Imagine that your children, uh, Evelyn William Pee Wee, got the bad name. Their life and your life illustrating their relationship with God. All right. No mercy. And this is clearly telling the house <coughs> of Israel that God will spare no mercy for them as sinners. And that lets us know that God is going to spare mercy and show us mercy, show us loving, and show us kindness until the time wind down. And then there will be no more mercy. Of course, Goma's actions, like it says, a picture of the spiritual condition of the nation. They lusted after the gods of Canaanite, after Baal and Estrada, and they abandoned God, their father. Just as, uh, uh, just as Goma abandoned her husband and her children and played the part of a prostitute that shows the relationship of Israel with God, they abandoned their God with horn after other God, and abandon God. And that shows us us today. We abandon our love of God and go horn after other God, after materialism. All right. So that was her lifestyle. All right. This under pursuit. After Goma pursuing after, uh, uh, correct, Hosea pursuing after Goma, his wife. She had a crazy lifestyle, born in a dark and rebellion. She was lustful, went horn after other God. But now let's look at, at, at her lover. She had two lovers. One was the one she married, Hosea. In spite of how she had hurt him, Hosea loved Gomer. In spite of how she had mistreated him and her children, Hosea loved Gomer. In spite of how she lived her life as a prostitute, all right, Hosea still loved her, all right. That lets us know that regardless of how Gloria witnessed in Nashville, regardless of how we live our life, God loves us. We're talking about the prophet and the prostitute, all right. So, <clears throat> When Hosea received the command from God to go get Goma, to go off after her, he does not hesitate. Why not? He goes after her because he loved her. He loved her before she fell in sin, and he still loved her, all right, despite her sin. He loved, his love is so great that he's willing to do all anything, whatever it takes, to get her back. Now, this is a wonderful picture of the awesome love that God has for sinners. Did you know that no one had to tell God to love us? He loved you before you were born. He loved you when you were innocent, before you sinned. He loved you when you chose sin over righteousness, and he loved us today. In fact, he always loved us in our sin, before sin, and despite our sin. John 16, for God so loved the world. God so loved us that he gave us his only begotten son. All right, so that was the pursuit. And we find ourselves at this time that Goma had left Hosea. All right, that Goma had left 
her children, Jadriel, Lo Ami, and Lo Haroma, all right, that shows the relationship, no mercy, and not my children. Imagine that naming your children, no mercy, and not my people. And this shows the relationship that God had with Israel at that time, not my people. When God looks at you, when God looks at me, will he call you lo Haroma, no mercy, or lo Amini, not my people, or will you call you my child? All right, that was the pursuit. Now let's look at the purchase. By this time, Gomer had left with her lover. Then her lover had got tired of her and sold her into slavery as a prostitute. My, my, my. All right, so we're going to look at the purchase. All right. So, I, uh, uh, this is chapter 3, verse 2. So I brought her to me for 15 pieces of silver for a homer of barley and half homer of barley. So he paid 15 pieces of silver and a barley and a half uh, 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 for a homer of her. When Hosea find Gomer, she had been sold into slavery. She probably, yeah, she more than likely was sold as a prostitute. She's a far cry from the woman that he, she was when he had fell in love with her. She was a far cry from the woman that he had married those years before. All right. Imagine the scene. Hosea searching the country for Goma. Eventually finding her in a slave market for sale to the highest builder, Sister Gray. When he sees her, he does not hesitate. He does not turn away. He does not abandon her to a life of sin and wickedness, though it must have broken his heart to see Goma sold as an old prostitute. Hosea did what he had to do. All right. The price was a price for her. 15 pieces of silver and then some barley. Uh, uh, we find in Exodus 21, 32, that the standard price for slavery was 30 pieces of silver. Hosea did not possess enough money, so he had to pay part in cash and part in grain. So he paid for her, her price. All right. But buying back Goma cost him more than money. All right. It cost him his pride. So we had the price. And then we had his pride. He had to go into a public forum before a crowd witness to see him. All right. Having to buy his wife. This prophet of God had to go get his prostitute wife and buy her back from slavery. And this is what he does. He public humiliated humiliate himself. He willingly paid the whole price to redeem Goma from a life of slavery. Now remember, Hosea action about his wife, the prostitute, is a picture. His action is a picture of what God had done for the sinner, done for the lost, and done for us. Like Goma, the lost and the sinner are slaves to their sin. But God, in his great grace, in his mercy, all right, came into this world and gave himself a sacrifice for our sin. Yes, he gave more than 30 pieces of silver. He gave his very life. His blood on the cross was shed for the purchase of ourselves unto him. And just like Homer had to set aside his pride, Jesus had to set aside his Godship. He willingly suffered the pain, the shame, and public humiliation. The scripture said, Curse is the man that hanging on the cross. Yes, he even had to suffer spiritual separation from God to redeem us from our sin. Yes, he paid a lot to get Goma back. The price he paid with money and grain, his pride and his possession. Yes, she now became 
his possession. The Bible said, I brought her to me. Goma already blown to Hosea by virtue of their marriage. Now she is completely his because he has purchased her. The same is true when God redeemed us from sin. When redeem people, when God save a sinner, that sinner become his possession. All right. First Corinthians 6 and 20 said, we are bought with a price. My, my, my. So we look at the pursuit. Hosea pursuing Hannah, uh, 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 pursuing Goma. She had her lifestyle. She had her lust for prostitution. She had her lover, the one that sold her into slavery. And the lover symbolized Satan. Once he get through using you up, once he get through abusing you, he going to sell you out. You already sold, you sold out. And then we look at the purchase, the thing that Hosea had to do to buy her back. He paid a heavenly price of money. He paid a heavenly price of his pride, the shame and abuse that he had to suffer, that he had to endure. Imagine his friend talking about, you call yourself a prophet? But you got a wife that's a prostitute. My, and she became his purpose. So we looked at the pursuit. We look at the purchase of the buyback. And now we got to look at the purpose. Well, the purpose. You may ask why did Hosea do this? One reason he did this was to obey the clear command of God. Go marry a wife of Hoden. Another reason that Hosea did simply was that he loved Goma, his wife. And this love showed the relationship between God and the sinner. Yeah, though she had turned her back on him, though she had played the prostitute, though she had played the harlot, though she went and laid with other men, the purpose was to show God's love for sinner. All right? Yeah. And when she bought her back, he, she became a new character. Yeah. There was a new character. Hosea tell Goma in verse number three of chapter three, thou shalt abide for me many days. You won't play the part of the prostitute anymore and you shall not be for another man and so I'm gonna be just for you. All right, Hosea told Gomer, you won't be a prostitute anymore cause I had brought you back. You can imagine what was going through Gomer's mind as she had to stand in the slave market all her nakedness exposed to the house builder. And that's what sin do. It shows our nakedness. The woman Hosea is taking home to look like. It is not the, like the one that he had married so many four years before. The woman that he is now bringing home. is not the woman that he just brought off the slave block. Hosea tell her that her life is going to be different from this point forward. And this is just how, yeah, Jesus does for every soul he saved. He transformed their mind. She don't have the mind of a prostitute anymore because she been redeemed. Let this like mind be in you. There's also in Christ Jesus, she was transformed, and Hosea laid down the law. He said, I love you, but this is the way it's going to be. And she was transformed when he redeemed her into a new creature. Yeah, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, you know it. If any man be in Christ Jesus, 
He is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are made new. Yeah, Hosea went and got his wife. Yeah, because he loved her. God, go get the sinner because he loved them. Left on her own, she wasn't coming back. Left on their own, the sinner man, the sinner woman, girl or boy, is not coming back. Yeah, that she became a new character. She became a new creature. She became whole. Yeah, you see, Goma name mean completely. She was a complete prostitute. She was a complete sinner. She was on the slave market, a complete slave that had sinned and used her usefulness up. And now Satan had thrown her away. But Hosea came and got her. And that showed her her name mean complete. When she was bought back, she was a new creature. She was completely healed. She was completely saved. And she was completely a new woman. Yeah, she have a new commitment. Hosea, tell you got to commit yourself under me now and not play the prostitute, not play the harlot and go running after other men. And that's what God tells us when he come and redeem us. He said, you got to commit yourself unto me. You can go back to the Ten Commandment and find out that God said, I'm a jealous God. I won't share my glory with anyone. So when God saves us, when God redeems us, he called for a new commitment to him and him only should we serve. This is a picture of what we have in salvation. God did not save us so he can gratify a, some person of passion. He saved us because he loved us. He saved us because he wants a, for us a new life. He saved us to deliver us from our sin. But he expects that we will be his and he will be, will be his alone. Yeah, we are Hosea went and bought his wife back. And that lets us know that God will come get us and buy us back from a life of sinner. That makes us his twice. He's his once. Yeah, we are his once because he made us. And we are his, his twice. Because he redeemed us. He bought us back. The sin had us in the slavery. But my God came and got me. He went to a hill called Calvary. Yeah, to save a sinner like me. Hosea went to get his prostitute wife. And Jesus went to the hill to get his our, his prostituting son, his prostituting daughter, we went a whoring after other God. We got caught up in sin, but God sent his son. Do you know him? He water in dry places. He bread in a starving land. Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. Yeah, he went to the hill. They hung him high. Stretch him wide. He hung his head, and for me, he died. Yeah, he had to suffer the shame, like Hosea, the humiliation, beaten up the hill, whoop, whiff a whip, place a thorn across on his head. But he suffered the shame to redeem us because he loved us, and he had to buy us back. From a devil's hell, he gave his hand to the nails. He gave his feet to the nails. He gave his side to the spear. And the blood came streaming down. Heal, lend blood. Redeem, men blood. Save, in blood. He hung his head 
and the lock of his shoulder, and he died, took him down, put him in the grave, but the grave couldn't hold him. He stayed there all night Friday, all day Saturday. He stayed there all night Saturday, but early, early, early the third day, he got up with all power in his hand. And it does not matter And if we like Gomer, play the part of the prostitute, go a whoring out the other God. God sent his son to redeem us. So we already have been brought with a place. Just like Hosea, Jesus suffered the shame, the humiliation on the cross. But he willingly paid the price to get us back. And now we got to be fully committed. The songwriter said, I give my life fully committed unto him. He came and got us and bought us back. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Praise God. Amen. Luther Bond. God's great. All these years. How do we make it? Not done, how do we make it? It was God's grace. Mother Cat, how do we make it, Chief? It was God's grace. John, it was God's grace. Karen, Trina, Kristen, it was God's grace. Thera, it was God's grace. Gloria, it was God's grace. Brenda, Peewee, it was God's grace. Denisha, Kamisha, it was God's grace. Grace, it was God's grace. I made it this far. Pastor Lanier was God's grace. Michelle, Demaya, it was God's grace. God's grace that made Hosea go get his wife. It was God's mercy that caused him to send his only begotten son. Whereby his children, no mercy. God extended in mercy. Well, by not my people, we are now his people and we are his God. It couldn't be nothing, Deacon Bond, but God's grace. God's grace. We offer you Christ, the son of the living God. I made it this far by the grace of God. It was God's grace. We offer you Christ. Lord, I thank you. Give your heart to God and give your hand to one of these pastor preachers. Yeah, Dr. Donald, because he loved us that we made it this far. God's grace. And if you are out of the ark of safety, pray this prayer. Lord, I'm a sinner. I willfully and cheerfully going against thy will. I sin. But now, Lord, I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth that thou art the Christ, and I repent in ashes and dust. Here I am, Lord. Save my soul. If you said that prayer, that's all it takes. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth and accept God's grace. God's grace that sent Hosea to get his wife. It was God's grace that sent Jesus to save us, to redeem us, to buy us back, to suffer the shame, to suffer the humiliation. I made it this far by the grace, the grace of God. It was God's grace. Yes, we all straight away. God's mercy brought me God's grace Mother Cat God's grace Evangelist God's grace Kiana Kanisha was God's grace Jada was God's grace I made it this far by the grace of God. Sister Whitney, God's grace. 
how I got here, I tell you. They want to know how you got here. How I made it. I made it this far by the grace of God. Simply put, it was God's grace. Yeah, it didn't make that prophet. Go get the prostitute. God's grace. Amen. Amen. Look at me. God bless you. We're going to close out with uh, Luther Bond, God grace. But first we get some announcements. Thera, thank you. It was God grace that brought us this for. Amen. All right. We're going to be uh, dedicating our baby this Sunday. Aiden, Kristen, Jace, Layla, Kenna doing that doing regular service. All right. We're also going to be uh, uh, baptizing Tristan, all right, Conway, at 10 o'clock. So, uh, uh, Courtney, get the, uh, get the pool ready. Amen. God bless you. God keeps you. Is our prayer for you. Amen. God bless you. Special prayer for Stephanie and Isaiah. Amen. Amen. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. We made it this far by the grace of God of God. Amen. God bless you. God keeps you. Is our prayer for you. Amen. All right. We're going to close out with Luther Bond. Now let's pray. Gracious Lord, we thank and praise you for life, for health and strength. So much to be thankful for. And we realize, Lord, that we just don't thank you enough. So, Lord, we lift up a holy hand, give you all praise, all honor, and all glory. Lord, and we thank you for coming, get us. Just like Hosea, the prophet, went and got his wife, the prostitute. You came and got us when we went a whoring out the other God, the God of this world, the God of materialism. And you brought us back. And we got a new commitment unto you. God bless us, God keep us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Eddie Lucas, homeboy, God bless you. Amen. Von Brown, God bless you. William, amen. Thank you so much for those that contribute to this ministry. Krista, Trina, one of y'all paying the cash out. Much needed, much appreciated. Amen. Just like Hosea when got his wife the prostitute, Jesus when got us a sinner when we went a whoring out the other God. Amen. Amen. It was God's grace. God bless you. God keeps you is our prayer for you. Amen. Pray for us and we'll see you this coming Sunday from the uh, uh, New Corinth Sanctuary. Amen. Where we'll be dedicating and baptizing. God is still on the throne. Amen. Thank you so much all you pastors and preachers and teachers for worshiping with us this evening. Amen. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. To God be the glory. Amen. Trey Jones, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. It was God's grace. We made it this far. I made it this far. You made it this far. By the grace of God. And when we like Goma got beside ourselves and went out there, he came and got us. Why? Because he loved us. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God keeps you. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening. To God be the glory for the things he has done. Amen. Amen. Amen.